everyone and welcome back to my channel lumen moon tarot i am here to do your twin flame energy update okay for for this weekend i won't be taking any reversals all right but this is for valentine's day as you can see i'm just getting started i figured we'd just freestyle this baby okay um this reading is for the collective for the twin flame energies right it's not going to resonate with everyone if it doesn't resonate with you it's okay don't panic um it just means that i didn't pick up on your story for this reading okay i'd also like to thank all of you for your all of your support your likes your subscribes your shares your comments your donations everybody's been absolutely fabulous and i'm so grateful to everyone from the bottom of my heart um and this channel is for adults only and if you'd like to make a donation to my channel there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box okay so let's get going twin flame energies um i don't really have an overall energy let's look at the bottom of the decks right i feel like divine feminine you're just in your you're standing in your truth right now you're standing in your power you've had enough of crap from people you've had enough of being hurt being used being backstabbed being you know put down and treated like garbage so you're holding up this sword like the queen of swords and expecting the truth out of people the truth the whole truth nothing but the truth and if they don't give you the truth you're going to cut somebody out of your world, period. Um, anybody approaches you incorrectly, you've got your red flags up. You know what I mean? You've got any red flags come up and you're going to know, okay? Um, and I feel like there's, there's someone that they're in like a cold feeling situation. It's very cold wherever they are either like it's it is winter time outside i mean it's kind of cold like a lot of places but i'm talking energy wise um and this person may hold you in high regard they may feel like your energy is a bit cold divine feminine and this is could be something who someone who holds you in very high regard okay anyway yeah i feel like someone wants a brand new beginning i feel like they know they're being handed a gift from the divine i see this as a gift like here you go here you go it's time for a new beginning here's a new abundant beginning right it's abundant stable this could be a gift um this could be a lump sum of money this could be a brand new start all right um something very substantial and somebody is like they can't sleep at night whether this is the divine masculine or or the divine feminine but we're going to find out someone's like laying on a bed of swords um uh and i i really feel like this is the divine masculine's energy actually because they sabotaged you divine fam feminine they gutted you like a freaking deer you know, they dressed you up, made you feel all pretty, and you trusted this person enough to lay on the slab for them. You know, they said, here, lay down here, but it's cold and it's stone. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't pay any attention to that. Here's a pretty dress. You're very pretty. Now lay down, and you trusted this person. They put you in a third-party situation, and then they should have picked up this sword and cut something out, and they ended up gutting you with it instead. Okay, so now this person here, they want a brand new beginning. They want something abundant. And they're, they may even be thinking about abundance here, but I'm going to clarify this. I see it as a new beginning. And they, they don't know how to reach it because the person that they want the new beginning with, they sacrificed. Now, this is a person from your past. This is, they're thinking about you, Divine Feminine. They're going back, they're remembering a time when you gave your love freely. When you had all these cups of love pre-filled for this person. And any time they needed you, you were there. Just ready to give them love whenever, you know, here, here's some more love. Oh, you need more love? Here you go. This person could be a bit younger than you. 
but this person is recalling all of those moments and the reasons why they can't get you off of their mind. And then they're wondering why, why they sacrificed you and gutted you like a deer. Because they want this new beginning with you. This person is being very nostalgic, thinking about old times, remembering how loving, caring, nurturing you were with them freely, um, and that you feel like home. And this person, this is my creepy, my creeperson card, everybody here knows creepy, right? <laughs> Um, this is somebody who watches you. They may have something to say to you, but they're holding back their communication on purpose, intentionally. Uh, but they watch. They watch you like a hawk. So this person, your person's been watching you. Uh, maybe to see what you know, what kind of energy you're in. You could be dealing with a um, an earth sign here who clearly has to make a decision. I feel like you possibly have been waiting a long time for this decision to be made, just waiting, possibly working on your pentacles, you know, working on reaping some kind of harvest here, wondering, you know, I, I feel like at one point you wondered if you should have a new beginning, but honestly, because you were gutted, I think you took that opportunity to have your new beginning, Divine Feminine. But this person here that you're dealing with, They've got two doors open. They've got an open portal here that they're pointing at. They know they're passionate about it the most, but they have their back turned. And they're trying to guard themselves with like a see-through pentacle, okay, a hollow pentacle. Um, this could be somebody who's stable, grounded, logical, logical thinker, but they have another door here propped open, see? And that one has fewer steps, and that's the one that they're facing. And they're just kind of sitting in the middle of making this decision for such a long time that this person grew a freaking Duck Dynasty beard, and the water is all frozen over. That means the emotion's frozen over. Their ships can't come in until they decide. You know, that's who you could be dealing with, but that's kind of too many cards for me to take. You guys, I know. I know, I do that to you all the time. But yeah, the decision card needs to stay out. Somebody's been trying to make a decision for far too long. I feel like this is your divine masculine. You know, either they're waiting to decide or you've been waiting to decide or waiting for them to decide. I feel like that's your energy, divine feminine, that you've just been sitting there waiting and waiting and it's just been long. You know, like where the frick are they? <laughs> Right? Right? But they're over here reading a book, not cleaning themselves up. This person could be just like a sort of a lazy mess, you know? Um, and when I say mess, look at what they're standing. This is their mess right here, but look at your glow. I feel like this Divine Masculine really wants a reunitement with you. This is um, the Four of Wands. It stands for people coming together or coming back together and parties and celebrating everybody reuniting you know what i mean it could also be considered as a twin flame reunitement card but it's not that actual there's only one true twin flame card in the deck and that's not out yet but it'll probably be out here but divine feminine you're just high vibing you have crossed through the portal okay starting a new cycle coming up look at how beautiful you are dressed in like queen dresses and have your hair done and you're looking all gorgeous and here your divine masculine is with a mess behind him okay a mess he's in a mess and doing nothing but thinking I feel like you know that's why he's sitting at this desk or was and he's trying to approach you in a dirty hoodie okay I feel like this person hasn't really been doing much with themselves at all. They may need to brush the dust off a little bit, cut their hair or something. <laughs> but um, you're reaching out to this person like you've been waiting, you know, for them to join you in this new cycle. And your Divine Masculine again stands here knowing he's got one step left to take to get to you. But he just stands there and looks at you, kind of in awe. It's almost like this is a dream state. Do you know what I mean? Maybe he sees you in, in his dreams. You guys could both be 
um, energetically commingling in your dream state, you know, sure. But I really feel like this person's watching you either on the TV somehow or on a computer and they see you high vibing and they see you looking great and uh, they know you're reaching out to them somehow. They can probably just feel your energy and they want to come to you but they may not know what to do with all of this energy, you know. I always, yeah, and it's, they're showing me this again, the entrance to Stargate where what's his name Daniel what is his name I forget his name but anyway he walks up to the Stargate and he's the first one to go in and he kind of stands there for a second and sort of plays with like the water type fluid looking stuff and sort of stands there and he might look back a little bit and he kind of wonders what the crap is going to happen to him if he steps through the Stargate okay but he steps through and then, you know, all the energy just kind of splits him and carries him to where he's supposed to go. But for that minute, it's like he wants to go in, but he's discovering and learning and trying to take a deep breath. You know what I mean? And I think that's kind of where your Divine Masculine is at right now. Over the weekend, though, I really do think that... Um, that the masculine is going to be watching you a lot, Divine Feminine. Thinking about you a lot, you know, having that nostalgia, knowing that a new cycle needs to begin, and they, like I just said, they want to meet you. They, they want to be with you in this new cycle. They can feel it too. They're watching. They're watching. They're learning. They're feeling their way. And they want to step through this you know, through this portal into the new cycle with you. There it is. The true twin flame soulmate connection card in the deck. The only one. I knew it would come out. Um, the lovers. All right. The problem here is this person is fairly excited. Um, I feel like this person cannot wait to be in your presence again, like face to face. Um, and he's taking your hand here, Divine Feminine, but you have this look on your face that's really dowdy. You're looking at this person like, like they're like, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you again. You know what I mean? And you're like, yeah, um, mm. Like, I don't think you trust this person. I really don't. I don't think you're going to trust your Divine Masculine. Um, I think they want to come to you and they're like right on the edge and they're kind of getting excited like about seeing you in person. They know that this brand new beginning, see remember this pentacle from the beginning? That brand new beginning, there it is. It's right above you guys. There's that pentacle, okay? So they know that that brand new beginning that they want is with you and they know it hangs in the balance of you guys meeting and everything going okay. But if you guys come face to face, he's going to have a lot of passion for you. Um, but you're going to be very grounded. You're going to just feel very grounded, right? With the green, he's going to have passion with the yellow and like the fire bursts. You're going to be like, I, I got to think about this shit. So, yeah, you could be dealing with the Virgo, Aries. Um, I, sometimes I feel Gemini in this as well. Um, this person really wants to change things with you. I think they're doing a lot of... They're focusing in their mind about you, um, Divine Feminine, over Valentine's weekend. And they're, that's manifesting this connection in. Okay? Whether your Divine Masculine knows that or not... I feel like they want to bring change to the situation and I feel like they could be manifesting it just by how hard they're concentrating on you. You know, they're envisioning things with you. They're thinking about you sexually, remember? Um, yeah, and they, they don't want to be left out in the cold anymore. Okay, they know that this could be a very stable foundation. This could be, you know, 
um, a, a possible future commitment, but this person feels left out in the cold. The reason why I say possible future com commitment is because this is like the same building that I have in other um, Ten of Pentacles cards, so that it just makes me think about that. I feel like if they're in a separate commitment, though, um, they're about to have a tower moment. Here's the um, lightning from the divine coming down to hit the tower. And this person is out in the cold with you. I feel a lot of hermit energy off of this just because of what this person is wearing and that the fact that they're carrying that lantern. You could be dealing with a Virgo, very much so, but um, they're going within to try to figure out how to get back into your good graces, how to come in from being out in the cold. I feel like they feel like they've been lost in a snowstorm, not able to see clearly, poor visibility. <laughs> Poor visibility. Your person had poor visibility, which led them out in the cold, possibly in a commitment that is, I feel very strongly that a tower, a tower moment is coming for this person. Okay, not that I, I don't have the tower out here, but with the lightning, yeah, I'm feeling it. I feel like this Divine Masculine really wants to um, offer you this cup of love, but like much like with this, with this Hermit here trying to light their way with the Lantern, they're trying to light their way as to like, how do I offer this cup of love? You know, am I ready to offer this cup of love? Um, what do I have to do? Because they're wading through their emotions here. This cup? This is a brand new beginning in love. That's one cup there. Okay? I don't know that your person really wants a brand new beginning in love right now. It, in this depiction, they're not even holding the cup. It's not even in their hands. They set it down. This person set down a brand new beginning in love with you. And now they're kind of like wondering, how do I get it? Uh, they're trying to see through their emotions. You know? Trying to light the way. I feel like they're lighting the way through their emotions so that they can offer, so they can pick up this brand new beginning in love and make that offer. But they've got to find their way through all of this water. So they're lighting their way. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, this person just is, you know, they're all up in their emotions this weekend. They're going to be, I mean, look, this horse has to try to, like, walk through a, a, this, all of this water is your person's emotion and they're sitting in the middle of it this weekend, okay? I don't know how else to explain that one. What else can you show me? What else can you show us for the Twin Flame Soulmate Connection? Yeah, I feel like um, there is a choice to be made here. Anytime I see twos, I see choose, right? However, um, I feel like there's someone who's also being very protective here. I've gotten this for the last few nights as well. If you're a Cancer, um, and it could be any water sign, really, but this is strong cancer energy. Look at how big this energy has grown. This crustacean, a crab, right, is tons bigger. It's like a monster compared to these two large dogs. It's half the size of these freaking buildings. So someone here is very powerfully wanting to protect what they built here. These are like solid foundations. And someone here is being very protective. Um, that's how I'm feeling anyway. There could be some things hidden here. And somebody is really trying very hard to keep them hidden. And protect the things that are hidden perhaps. But change is coming with that moon. I don't know. Clarify this moon. Clarify the moon. Thank you. Um, yeah, you could be getting communication on this. This is 
um, action being coming in very quickly. This is um, speedy action. This is fast communication and lots of it. Could be online as well. Perhaps it could even be people's opinions coming at you. If people's opinions are coming at somebody here, even especially this Divine Masculine, they may be trying to be protective of something here. But I usually see the Eight of Wands as communication coming in quickly. Clarify the Moon again and the Eight of Wands for me, please. I feel like something's hidden here, kept in the dark. Something's being kept in the dark. There's other options for someone here, but someone knows exactly who it is that they're passionate about. They're pointing that wand of passion, right? Somebody may be keeping this information hidden, but yet there could be communication coming in to you about it. They're hiding something here. I feel like your Divine Masculine um, could be hiding how he feels about you. Definitely. Well, we already knew that. But you know what, though, Divine Feminine? You only want the truth. You're not... You're like, look, dude, look. I'm not playing any freaking games. If, if communication comes into you, and you have any kind of hint that there's other options or they're protecting some kind of secret, you're going to be like off with it. Off with it. Just lay your head on the chopping block now. You know, I don't want to have to use any of my energy cutting you out of my world, but I need to do it as quick as possible. They, somebody, they all need to approach you with the truth. You're not putting up with any games. You're not going to waste any of your time. You're not going to, you're not going to listen to any lies or bullshit. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like when this, when this communication comes in, your person's going to be hiding something. They're going to be hiding something. Maybe other opportunity or other um, options. This could also be a card for illusions as well. So they could be, you know, hiding something, trying to... Here, clarify this one here, the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups for me, please, Divine, for the Twin Flame update for Valentine's Day. Seven of Cups. Let's see. I feel like your person's very burdened by this. They're bored in a situation. You know, I, I really feel like this person is bored. They have had this, um, this brand new beginning in love, this holy grail cup of love on the back of their mind this whole time. They've been sitting here doing nothing but reading. We've gotten that in this picture, having to make a decision. They, they feel like they missed an opportunity at a divine love and a brand new beginning in love because of a third party situation that they were paying attention to. And they let this sit for so long that now they're bored in the situation. It's becoming burdensome. It's eating them alive. It, they, look, this person has empty eye sockets where their eyes used to be. They're just black sockets. They're prematurely aging, um, or could be anyway. They could be suffering health issues. This person, um, you know, everyone can tell this person is burdened by this. Who wouldn't be able to notice some prematurely aged person with empty eye sockets um, with an antler hat on that's lit up with Christmas tree lights? Everybody can notice this now because they're so bored they're bored i think they're bored where they are and i think where whoever they're with can notice it and i think they're only thinking about you and how fabulous you are possibly wanting to um, give back to this connection they could be giving to others as well but i don't see that i see them coming to you possibly i see this person coming to you 
or wanting to wanting to and have you help them give them something a new beginning give them she's handing them that one pentacle here she's handing this this person this one pentacle there it is a new beginning i think they want to come to you and have you give them a new beginning i think you've been bossing up i think you're very um you've been raising your pentacles divine feminine and um and you're just a gorgeous freaking boss you could have your own business i think somewhat they want to come out in the in from being out in the cold they want to come to you so you can hand them this new beginning because they're bored where they are yeah i think this person your person's gotten clarity either they've gotten well it's both i think your person does have clarity i think they know what they missed out on here definitely this is what they're going to be burdened over this this weekend for sure and they're going to be watching you their eyes are going to be on you and knowing exactly this person knows exactly what they missed and they know exactly what they did and how how they changed your attitude from being loving and freely giving to the queen of swords energy but they also know that you've bossed up that that this whole journey has triggered that part of you too and this person clearly knows what it is that they missed on they're very bored where they are they may want to cut something out i feel like they've gotten clarity but i also feel like you may be the one to cut this out because you're the one who's holding the sword divine feminine yeah you're this is she who knows there there you are the one with all the intuition the one all right divine feminine sorry or well any this is for divine feminine and divine masculine but i know it's mostly you watching so um yeah, this is you, the highly intuitive one, the one who's connected to the divine, the one who keeps the secrets for the higher font. Um, you are the secret keeper. You are the one who knows. And I feel like you're not speaking and that's bothering this person. How do I get, how do I talk to them? How do I communicate with them? Because this is communication clearing the air. I feel like your person wants to come and talk. They may want to come in and give you the truth they know they have to give you the truth because you're going to see straight through any lies and you're standing in your strength again not speaking not speaking but riding into your future for your happiness i don't know why i saw this as the strength but i'm going with it because i do feel like you're standing in your strength and power and you're riding into your future for your happiness I feel like this person sees you as their happiness as well. That's why they feel so bad about missing this opportunity with you. Yeah, here comes Rod. Okay, coming in fast to talk and flirt and play. All right, they may want to have some communication. They may think that flirty, playful communication um, is the way to go. But this is coming in very quickly. Um passionate passionate communication but this is page energy this isn't going to stick around this is just play if they're just testing the waters right now even though there's no water there they're testing the sand because everything's all dried up everything's all dried up you could be dealing with the fire sign as well i haven't been calling out signs so um, all right, I'm going to switch decks. We're going to go with the really super slippery one. So expect some issues here. All right, Divine, what else can you show us? Why is the Page of Wands here? This is a person from your past. He wants to come back. This person has passion for you. All they can do is think about you. All right? That's it. <laughs> That's it. All they can do is think about you, remember you, want you. Then it goes back again into a cycle. They think about you, remember you, want you. Then it goes back into a cycle. <laughs> think about you, remember you, want you. I mean, it's nonstop while they watch. 
they're watching you as well. They may want to put some work into this now. Standing in your strength, there it was, the strength card. Yeah, they see you standing in your strength and that's a person who isn't speaking. I feel like no matter what this person has tried to do, you've just remained really quiet. Not talking, not talking, not talking. Yeah, the, the, the queen of love here, this person wants to take control. They want to take charge of the situation, okay? You could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries. Um, and you could be a, um, a Cancer or a Scorpio or a Pisces. But they know that that love in that cup is like no other love. That's the only cup of love there that's jeweled in the deck. Even the Holy Grail cup of love, the Ace of Cups, is not jeweled. No, it's not. This is the best love that there is. And you've got it. And this person knows it. And you offered, you, you offered that person your love in the past. A lot. Okay? Whenever they needed it, you would have kept it coming. You would have kept it coming, man. You would have. But I feel like this person chose someone else. And they've been sitting in a situation, a third party situation that they're t totally bored with. Um, and they want to come in and take charge of the situation and, and get that love back. They want that love. Oh, that was clarifying the Page of Wands. They want that love back. You know? So, yeah, I feel like this is communication. Once again, Moon, you could be a Cancer. There are things that may be hidden here, you know. So there could be a bit of manipulation. This person has a, a world of regret. This Divine Masculine over this weekend, they're just going to be all up in their emotions. This is a very emotional time for this Divine Masculine this weekend. Um, there could even be some tears here. Um they know they turned their back on this soulmate connection. They know they turned their back on this love. They know they turned their back on that person from their past that gave them that love freely. They know they turned their back on a brand new beginning in love with you all over this third party situation that's been dumped out and now they sit in that sorrow. They sit in their regret. They sit in their remorse. They sit in that emotion this weekend. All right, what else? Yeah, because you're their empress and they know it, you shine and you're extremely abundant. You've got nine pentacles. The most you can have is 10. <laughs> you know, but this person underestimated you. This is the empress in the minor arcana. Two shakes before her, you were at the sevens where you were underestimated and waiting to reap a harvest of all the work you've put into something. You were considered a worker girl. You might have even been considered a nothing by this person in the past. And they had a chance at a brand new beginning with the best love ever. But see, the thing about with the Seven of Pentacles is the Seven of Pentacles is underestimated, yes, but she flips and she's the only card that does the only one which brings you to the empress that underestimated person did a flip -roo on this on this divine masculine and turned into the empress in the minor arcana extremely beautiful and abundant and you knew it though divine feminine you knew you had it in you you knew who you were and you knew what your love was worth the whole time but they didn't see it and they turned your, their back on it and now, boy, do they regret it. Boy, do they regret it. Because you're like the shiznit, all right? And they missed out. They missed out, all because they underestimated an empress. Yep. But why whoop them? You know, why whoop them? You've already whooped them divine feminine there's not a whole lot more to say you've already whooped them you've had your victory in this they want victory with you but I feel like divine feminine you've had victory they want to feel accomplished they may want you to see them like this again 
you may you may be in the public eye or them but somebody here wants a victory. They want to come in, they want to offer you something stable, and they want to have a brand new beginning. And your person, this Divine Masculine, feels like a fool. They feel a fool. Once again, you could be a Cancer. They're holding like, Behold, Cancer! Right? <laughs> but if you're not a Cancer, it doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter. They still feel like a fool and they want to take a leap of faith with you. They want to start a whole new journey and they want to at least, you know, this is the beginning stages of communication. This is page energy. This is just an offer of stability, like a little gift or a token of how they feel. Over the weekend, they may want to do this, bring you a gift. They may even want to tell you and communicate that they want a brand new beginning with you. But this is a beginning stage. This is moving slowly. This is like, can we at least just start off as friends? Or can we make up? Can we make up somehow? You know, a little smile, maybe. Let's have a tiny little conversation. They may want to take you out. They may want to take you out. Um, this could be a date, yeah. They know that they know that they're in love with you. Second twin flame journey card, I think we've gotten, right? Yeah. They know they're in love with you. They want to see they want to see you in person. They want to see you face to face and look in your eyes. They want to spend time with you. They can feel this connection and it's driving them crazy. It's driving them crazy. Um, yeah, they really want to talk to you in person and see if, you know, can I just do something to, you know, make up for something? Can I just... Some kind of beginning stages, all right? A, an apology, some kind of friendly communication. You may get it. This could be a test communication. Yeah, because this person wants to build with you. Either that or they're committed. There's that building. Remember, this is what I'm talking about. Same freaking building. Okay, same building, pretty much. That's it. I feel like they're out in the cold and they want to come back in from the cold and build and have a beautiful ending, a beautiful completion to the cycle that's abundant something stable, something strong, something that's built to last. And they know that they can have that with you. They know they can have that with you. Um, or your person is already committed. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for me, please, for this Twin Flame journey. They're dinking around, though. I'm telling you, they're dicking around. Um, I... They want a new beginning. I think they're going to try to test this. They're try to, they're going to try to give you some kind of test communication, some playful communication. Play look. Or you could be dealing with younger people that are that are coming to give you some kind of message. That could be it too. But I really feel like this person wants to communicate. They want to be playful with you. They want to make you smile. They want to try to make things right. They want to start a new beginning that could turn into a commitment with the person that they actually love. The one that they know has the best love. They want this new beginning. It's in the beginning and it's, and it's towards the end. Yeah, a twin flame reunitement. They want to balance these scales, bring justice to the situation. You could be dealing with the Libra. I feel like your person, though, they could be juggling. I feel like your person, they know they can have a happy ending with you. This person knows they can have a happy ending with you. This is happy family, happy wife, happy life, happy children, lucky, love, abundance, health everything happy you know what I mean they know they can have this happiness with you but um, I feel like there's two I feel like they're weighing out and still having to make a decision is what I'm feeling 
I feel like this person still is having to make a decision. I'm seeing two, like, a, a commitment and a happy ending. And I'm seeing um, a, um, um, a reunion or a reunitement. But there's two women in this picture. I feel like your person is confused, maybe having a hard time deciding still. But it doesn't seem like it because they know that this is the connection that they want. And they're watching you. They're studying you. They're learning you. They're learning you. Um, yeah, that was right. Yeah, commitment. Do the right thing. This person needs to make a choice. They need to decide who it is that they want to, that they're going to commit to. We know who it is they want to commit to. That's clear to see. But who are they going to commit to? That's the question. And this person needs to commit to something because the higher font is here. They're like, wait, wait a minute. Clarify the higher font. This is all going on in this person's mind and heart on this weekend, like today and tomorrow. I mean, and that's a lot, like what? <laughs> yeah, this, you know, there's two keys here. Which key, which key? No more, stop. A decision must be made, the right thing needs to be done, and a commitment. You know, when you commit to something, it just means that you're not going to walk away from something. You know, what is it that you want that you don't want to walk away from? That's really, you know what I mean? Come on, man. Ooh, almost lost them. All right, what else can you show me? My hair is wrapping around my neck and it's starting to bother me. Sorry. What's with this higher font? Why is the higher font here, Divine? Why is the higher font here? Because he, this person, uh, do they think they're going to have two commitments? Because it's not happening. I'm, I'm telling you, I feel a tower coming down. I feel, I haven't gotten a tower card out here yet, but I'm feeling it. Somebody, yeah, cancer. Someone may be, um, coming in really super fast, coming in for a victory really, really fast, or wanting to, or you could be a Cancer, or um, uh, your person could be a Cancer, but this is something, this is speed. This is the fastest card in the deck, is the Chariot. And this person wants to take the reins and take charge of their own life and their own destiny. And I really feel like this Divine Masculine is starting to like stand up and get some power in them again, but um, I don't know, like their, their decision making skills are a bit slow on the uptake here, but they're doing, like I said, non-stop thinking about you, non-stop watching you, wanting to work on this. You, you are the one that your person cannot stop thinking about, Divine Feminine, this weekend. Let's get some mixed emotions on them. And this is your person from your past, okay? But it's like they may be in a commitment already, but they want this happy ending with you. <laughs> Definitely, definitely wanting to speak, wanting some communication. Uh, they want to see you face to face. They want to see you face to face. All right. All right. How does this divine masculine feel about their divine feminine? on Valentine's Day. Panicky. They're panicking. It's a fight or flight kind of situation here. They, they're out of time and they need to figure it out. Okay, they may be reaching here, um, maybe reaching out to you, but panicky, alarmed, anxious, and fight or flight. I mean, the fight or flight really stands out to me. And, but they're feeling hopeless. 
pessimistic, despondent, and defeated. I feel like they're feeling pessimistic because they put you on a freaking slab before and gutted you like a deer. And you haven't said anything about it. You haven't said anything. You're a complete and utter mystery, moon card. We got that twice. You know, um, so they're feeling pessimistic because they, they don't know if you're going to forgive them. I really feel like this person doesn't know, so they're shy. They're shy to come to you and talk to you. Timid, hesitant, said that before, they're hesitant and reserved because they don't know how you're going to react to the gutting. <laughs> they don't know what, you haven't said anything to them yet. So they don't know how you're going to react to, to the gutting. I mean, I don't know. If it was me, I'd probably like, can I have my spleen, please? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter what I would say. This is for you guys. Um, yeah, they're embarrassed, self-conscious, awkward, exposed. Yeah, they have to expose themselves. They have to confront the situation. They have to face you and confront what they did. And it's making them feel naked. It's making them feel embarrassed because what they did was horrible. And now they've got to come back to you to make this right because they cannot stop thinking about you. They know that they love you. They know this is... Uh, this is a once in a, in a lifetime connection. It's actually, really, you only have one twin flame soulmate. It's not even a once in a lifetime thing. It's a, it's a one person out of seven billion. And if this person found you and they let you go, yeah, they're embarrassed about that. They're embarrassed about that, especially considering that you, they ne you never gave them a reason. You've been nothing but loving and kind. Shit. Shit. They're feeling love for you, though. They want to hold you. They may even want to be held and nurtured and coddled. Okay, but they're in a lot of grief. They're in a lot of grief this weekend over you. Sorrowful, heartbroken, and bereaved. That's this. Five of Cups. And that's the ultimate energy that your person is going to be in this um, Valentine's weekend, Divine Feminine. This is your Divine Masculine. All right. Is there any words of advice for the Twin Flames for Valentine's Weekend. Any words of advice, Divine? Yeah, your person's all kinds of messed up. They're all kinds of messed up. You know, I will say this though. Divine Feminine, have you ever made a poor decision and you realized it? Did you face that and go and tell the person that you made a bad decision and you realized it and you want to make things right. You know what I mean? This is the kind of stuff that happens in our lives. That was too many cards. Um, I don't know. I don't, I guess everybody's situation is different, but you're going to have to search within yourself as to how to handle this kind of situation. I'm, my guess, I, I guess what I would say is we're only human, you know, but here's the thing though, in being human too, you, you also learn the things that you need and the things that you don't need. And Divine Feminine, as long as you know what you don't need, you know, forgiveness only really frees you. Forgiveness will free you. As long as you, you know, hold on to your, um, where are you, where are you, I know you're in here. The Queen of Swords energy, where is she? Can't find it. All right, so Queen of Swords energy, hold on to that sword and keep demanding truth from people who approach you and stay in, in your boundaries and hold on tight to your boundaries. You know what I'm saying? 
but you know just be mindful that you're not speaking to somebody who's just you know an illusion okay this is talking to somebody who's an illusion I feel like this is your divine masculine you know sabotaging themselves I feel like they listen to other people or they've been spending time with something that's an illusion they've been having illusions um, and I feel like in sabotaging you they actually hurt themselves see where he's sitting as soon as he he's trying to cut this down so this baby falls into this well but he's sitting on the wrong end of the limb as soon as he makes that cup he's gonna fall down there with the baby as well so this is a person who sabotaged themselves because they had illusions okay which is what I'm trying to say that can happen to anybody you know he believed in the wrong thing this divine masculine believed in the wrong thing they believed in the wrong person that's what they did I don't know about you but I've been hurt so many times I know I've believed in the wrong people before I know I have I mean look at it that way right forgive us our trespasses if we as we forgive those who trespass against us but that's just my opinion okay so you don't have to don't make any life decisions based on anything that I'm saying in any readings okay I'm just throwing it out there though you know that's what you guys want me to do is talk but yeah um I feel like I don't know who this is for I feel like somebody is trying to lure someone or somebody's not being quite themselves and still but but this person can sense it if somebody comes to you and they're trying to like lure you into something or catch you somehow or just be close to you but you know that there's something up with these people and you don't trust them swim away swim away from anything you don't trust because you know honestly God isn't gonna the divine is not going to send you anything or anyone that makes you feel like you're afraid of them okay if you're afraid of somebody you know that's not from God just know that trust your instincts know when you're dealing with an illusion and when you're not okay because this person dealt with an illusion and I think they got trapped by it and I think they sabotaged themselves and now they're living in grief grief and sorrow Wow this is all going on on Valentine's weekend really all right what else can you show us for advice please once again guys this is my handmade deck this is the sister deck if you don't know and they're very very rough because I make them by hand at home for fun but they're not for sale and they're very powerful and they don't lie and I love them I feel like the divine masculine or someone is going to be started they're falling apart someone is falling apart this weekend and someone is glowing and working on um, a creative project and working on their own thing this weekend um, and I feel like someone's just all up in their emotions over divine feminine being very very grumpy okay this is jubilatus okay sorry about that battery died oh man I think my phone's about or my camera's about to fall over too so all right Jubilatus Jubilatus here's this this is Jubilatus look how grumpy he is right he's all sitting in a corner feeling all like woe is me and grumpy and like all butt hurt and everything because he didn't get his way he could join the life and the party here okay but no he doesn't want to leave his corner um, he's feeling very upset I feel like this is the divine masculine's energy I feel like someone also 
this could be your energy too, Divine Feminine. You could be in the sad kind of, you know, a sad creative moment. I feel like you're taking any sadness that you may have this weekend and you're, you're putting it into your creative projects. You're making something here and you're adoring it and you're nurturing it. You could even be pregnant. You could have a new pet that you're taking care of even. I feel you being very quiet about it as well, but glowing on the inside because of it, okay? But you may feel like purging out some of this emotion from this unrequited love. It seems like an unrequited love, but it's not. But if you're feeling that way, put it into your creative project or do some writing to get it out. Otherwise, this is your Divine Masculine possibly thinking about writing you a letter feeling sad, sorrowful. Here we have those two roses again, two choices, two choices. I feel like since he's, this person's holding the rose and writing at the same time, this person, your divine masculine's made their choice of who they're emotional over, okay? Who they want, who they love. This other rose is just sitting here on a shelf. But I feel like this weekend, Divine Feminine Baby, you're just going to be divine, but someone else over here is going to be falling apart. Your Divine Masculine is falling apart this weekend. All right, everybody, that's what I have for your Twin Flame Energy Update for Valentine's weekend. I hope that this resonated with some of you. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button and subscribe to my channel on the way out. Help my channel grow. Have an excellent, wonderful, beautiful, glowing Valentine's Day, okay? And uh, take care of you and peace out. Happy Valentine's Day.